I'm really excited about transferring all of our modular buildings over to Mills Plates. In our last video, we started the process with moving the Tudor corner, and eventually I want to take every modular and convert it to Mills. But before we get there, I've got more work I want to do on this Tudor corner. First, let's review where we're at. Last video, we took Tudor corner here, put it on top of this Mills plate. Okay, we also converted the corner, took the sharp corner off, made it a rounded corner because it looks so much better when we add our roads like this. Okay, this is a corner building, so there's roads on both sides. We put those up. Now look how much nicer that looks with the crosswalks and then the rounded corner with the black there that we built into the corner there so it fits with our black roads. So this is where we want to go. I want to make even more changes, though, to this. Uh, a couple reasons. Number one, just with the Tudor corner, they had put this neat little, like, barrier in the corner that I think it's neat, but for the city that I want to build that has actual crosswalks at the corners and things like that, we're going to take this off, okay? And we're going to reevaluate um, how we use something like this. More on that to come. But the big thing that I want to adjust, which we're going to get into detail here momentarily, is I want to have actual crosswalks, okay, to match up with these crosswalks that I've built in on the corner. I also want to be able to have street signs, okay? Again, I want to get as authentic as I can, building little details like that into my city. So let's go take a look a little closer at what we want to do here. First, we're going to tear up the sidewalk that we've put here, get it down to the top of the mills plate, and we're going to rebuild from there. And here's a photo of a curb cut that's kind of my inspiration for where we're going here. So if you look closely here at this stop motion, you can see, first off, I'm building the curb up one tile higher than what's on a normal modular. I'm also adding those yellow two by four plates there that are kind of be, take, taking on the uh, curb cut look that I had hoped for. And then just inside of that rounded corner curb, adding in one spot that you can add street signs. And in this case, it's a crosswalk sign. All this is getting our sidewalks, our crosswalks, our curbs to look as detailed as possible. And Actually, our goal, too, is then to carry this new design through to the other modulars as we convert to mills. And that's not the only change I want to make. Notice how I added this little 1x2 black plate into the raised curb there, and there's another one over here. What I'm going to do there, notice this little piece here. I'm going to change my roads. I want to take the drains that are now currently built into the sidewalk here. I just, I've never liked those because you can see the p plates underneath. Uh, I want to redo that and build the grates into the roads with this new design. One last thing I want to adjust here on the Tudor corner. I want to recreate that barrier that used to be here in the corner and put it just down the sidewalk here. Now let me show you what I'm thinking. First I've got to take some of these pieces off. And I'm going to pop up these tiles. And I'm going to replace these tiles with a bunch of jumpers. Okay, one by two jumpers. And what's going to happen then is we can use those jumpers to recreate that barrier. See, um, this will connect just like that to a jumper. And then we take that combination of a clip and those are actually handcuffs that was used. And then we just kind of go down the side and add those in. Now, what I'm going to do is using a couple of my own pieces, that's all the pieces that were provided in the set, but I've got a few more here. So I'm going to go down and just 
basically have that run just a little bit further down here. And I'm getting rid of this grate anyway. So I believe I've got enough to go this far. It's kind of handy how those pieces connect to the jumpers like that. And I've got just a couple more clips. There's one there. And then we've got a couple more of these handcuff pieces. So now we've just kind of created that barrier all the way down along the sidewalk here. So again, I'm just going to play with that for a little bit. Again, I'm not sure if that's going to last, but I'm going to put it on there for now. See how it looks. Maybe you guys have some thoughts. One more thought I had, you know, every modular has the white lamppost, usually on the right side. Well, I want to add something to the left side. I've always thought fire hydrants should be part of this. So I'm going to, on the left side of this modular, add just this little fire hydrant, which is really pretty simple with just a couple pieces um, that are really pretty routine. And then the only thing I'm going to do then is, just like where you see a fire hydrant in a city, I'm going to make the curb painted yellow right in front of the fire hydrant. Okay, so we've added mills and uh, redeveloped the sidewalk and a few other details on the Tudor corner. The goal from here is to take this design with the mills, different curbs and all that, and bring it to other modulars. So we're going to be starting those here real soon.